<clears throat> hey, Coach Rollins, you guys came in here today. You're in the finals for Division Two. Yes. And then get knocked off by Archbold. Then they go down and wrestle uh, against Saint West Shore, St. Yeah. Ed's. And now you guys got to go against Palmer. Yeah. Wild day, actually. That's right. That's right. How'd you feel the boys did today? Not just the two Rollins boys that wrestled, but Watterson overall. I thought they did good. I'm really proud of our kids. I mean, all these guys go to the Bishop Watterson Theater Schools with the exception of four of our guests. So they've been wrestling together for years. They're a good, tight-knit community of kids, great families, and, uh, you know, I think I'm happy with what we're building. And uh, these guys need to get tougher, they need to get better, but they're up for the challenge, and they keep making progress every week. And so last year we got third at the state duels, this year we got second, and we got a ton of fifth graders back, so maybe next year third time's a charm. Something made my day absolutely. I see Joe Haskett here. Yes. Joey Haskett wrestled for yes. you. Yes. Right? I mean, that made my day. Seeing yes. Joe Haskett brings a huge smile to my face. Yes. And then seeing his sons involved yes. in wrestling. What's it like when you're able to get people like that into your feeder program? And, you know, Joey's learning, right? Yeah. He's tall. He's lanky. Yeah. But you got guys like that. You got just such a great yeah. culture, I would yeah. say. Right? Yeah, it's, it's special. I mean, um, uh, Joe Haskett and I trained together for quite some time. So for his son to be in wrestling and for the sport to hopefully raise him a little bit is real special. So we're proud to have him inside our club. When you have Joey and Logan out there, and sometimes Joey draws the short end of the stick, Logan doesn't so much, what's it like sending one out against the guy who you know is better as yeah. opposed to the other? You know, it's um, all these matches are good. It's all building blocks. It's all for, you know, the next level. They're not going to remember this when they're 15, 16, 17 years old or 20 or 30, but they're developing a good a good base of uh, knowledge and commitment for the sport so that when they are in those tight matches in high school and college where you and I both know they'll remember, um, you know, it's going to be a good one. So. This guy's got What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Give, it, give it to him. There it is. He missed, he missed the handshake. That's right. That's Listen, right. the culture. We can talk culture. I saw you stick around. You shook everybody's hand. Yeah. We can't even talk that long because you got to go. You got to go. Yeah. You got mass coming up. We got mass. Yeah, I love that mass. about you. Do you have anything else for me? We got defense sub duels for, for tomorrow. We got four Perfect. or five uh, Bishop Watson Junior High kids going to test themselves. So we're just going to lay low tonight at the True by Hilton and Sandusky and uh, hang out. I so. just want to tell you one thing. I started a new podcast called the Ohio Cast Podcast. Awesome. And it was out of respect for other athletes who were not barbarian. Yeah. And I was like thinking of you. Yeah. And I guess maybe now you might have to come on the show. I'll put, I put you on the spot. I'm in. I'm but that's in. why I started the Ohio Cast Podcast and there's no turnaround. No editing. That. I just throw it up. Yeah. I love are, you, are, you, are you in? I'm in. Sometimes I'm in. Put, put me on the spot. I'm in though. Thank you for the time. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy Mass. See you yes. tomorrow. All right. Thanks, brother.